Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Mr. Peace. Um, this is a email that I got from someone named Nate and a kind of a three part email. I already did the one on purpose and um, his question about that, but um, this one's more of a comment that I just wanted to expand on. Uh, that was also part of the, of the message that dealt with divorce. I obviously changed his name to protect confidentiality and identity. But what he had told me, he said, Dear Mr. Peace, um, this is back from May 2013. Dear Mr. Peace, my life at home has, since I was about eight, been filled with the pain of divorced parents. 50-50 custody battle is probably the worst thing in my life right now. Because me and my mom are always arguing, I can't tell you how many times I've been in screaming arguments with her at my confirmation, at my school, you name it. But today, after hearing what you said, I truly do understand that not a single good thing can come from hatred, but an infinite amount of good can come from a single act of kindness. Looking back, uh, love Nate, but just looking back to this, um, before I read what I wrote back to about two years ago, the first thought, you know, is Martin Luther King Jr., what he had said, um, you know, one of his famous quotes is that the premise of it basically is, you know, um, violence cannot drive out violence, right? It just creates more. Um, same with hate, you know, hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. And, you know, there's a part of my past where my parents are, are not divorced, um, currently not, um, you know, I think there's times maybe of everyone's life where there's moments um, in every marriage that maybe you wish, you know, your parents were apart um, to have a greater amount of happiness happen. I know that a lot of different churches, a lot of different denominations preach, you know, to not divorce. Um, obviously, way, you know, back in the 50s, 60s, all those things, it was shunned big time to, you know, be a part of a family like that. Um, now it's kind of more the norm, especially in the U.S., where our divorce rate is upwards of 55%. So basically one out of every two marriages are ending in divorce. I have, you know, some close friends that have gotten divorced, and um, it's it's never pretty. And uh, there's a lot of pain that can surround it from all parties, right, especially the youth, the, the children that think it's because of them, and they think it's their fault. And you know, it could be money issues, it could be communication issues, it could be just, you know, somebody kind of put on a front um, for a long time and finally got comfortable enough to be themselves and finally took the mask off to only show somebody totally different than the person that they met because we're trying to always impress people on first impressions. But, you know, I, I responded back um, and I just said, you know, Nate, thanks for reaching out. I can relate to your story on a lot of levels. While I don't come from a divorced home, I do come from one where, I, where parents were constantly arguing and fighting, mainly over money and lack of communication, those types of issues. When I was growing up, my dad got the nickname of being a yelly daddy uh, from my brother because he yelled all, all the time. And uh, that was my brother when he was around two. And he's 14 years younger than me, but caught on pretty fast. I also have a sister who shut off all communication with my father because of those years. And of course me, well I took the road less traveled and I have tried my hardest to try and show unconditional love to some people that many times even I wonder whether or not they deserve it. But deep down they do. Everyone does as well as, as we are all children of God. And you know there's definitely a part of my, um, you know, um, father and even other people in my life that, you know, there was parts that I really disliked, I even hated almost, and did a lot of work around that. Um, and I start to, came to realize, you know, that's, that, that was the cycle. Um, you know, his mom to him and her mom and dad to her, and it probably went back generations and generations, and that's all he knew. You know, those are the, those are the, are the tools that my parents had, and a lot of tools that different parents have and you take that with a grain of salt and you start to understand that they're doing the best they can with the tools they have but we have the opportunity all of us if we choose to do that to break the cycle of pain to break the cycle of divorce to break the cycle of violence of hate 
by how we live in our marriages, you know, in our future families, uh, when we be, when we become fathers or husbands or, you know, those opportunities as role models, especially as male figures in today's society when there's too many single moms, right? So I appreciate him reaching out, uh, Nate. I know a lot of you out there are struggling with, uh, you know, parents fighting and I don't try to pretend that I know what goes on behind closed doors because I don't. I just try to come with an open heart um, in hopes to just touch a small piece of yours. And if you have any similar pain that you're going through or um, struggle, you know, please feel free to reach out to me, Mr. Peace at MrPeace.net. My website, www.MrPeace.net. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook, it's MrPeace101. Instagram, Mr. Underscore Peace Underscore Geese. I don't always get back to you right away, but I always get back to you. And I don't have all the answers, uh, but he does. He's the one that leads me. And just know that you're loved. Um, you know, even going through types of divorce and things like that, it's um, it's usually never about you. It's about someone else's issues, right? You keep saying that enough, it's shoes, it's shoes, it's shoes. It's you, it's, it's that person with their own issues. And yes, I know a lot of times they can take it out on people that we love the most because we think they're always going to be there for us, right? I don't know why we hurt the ones that are closest to us sometimes, but it's just human nature maybe. But stay strong, stay tough, um, you know, stay close to the Lord in those times, the storms, because they will pass. And then you'll have the choice eventually, too, to break the cycle if it's not serving you and uh, show people love. Quick note, though, my dad and I are best friends now. Um, I love the guy. Um, he does so much for me, uh, my current wife now, our family, and um, just the, giving, the most giving guy and most loving guy and... Uh, funny guy too uh, a lot of my friends would tell you that too he's he's the best so guys kill him with kindness right but no we've been through a lot and a lot, a lot more we got to go through but um it's uh it's a lot better than it was and um it starts with love much love peace